I think the good sign is that players and coaches alike felt that yesterday in practice was their most competitive they've had. Zach McCormick getting the start, as you talked about. Now Sullivan tries to get it inside, and it's kicked out of bounds. We have an open opportunity. Step up there with confidence and shoot it. There's Russell, just about the same spot and the exact same result. Excellent fade screen, delivery of the basketball on time for junior college transfers trying to get familiar with each other. Sean Tank so good at getting into the lane. I mean, he is a... I don't know if they have the rhythm yet offensively because of the zone to feel comfortable to step in and knock down some of these open shots. And not a great offensive team, the Red Hawks, particularly early in games, averaging 24 points per game in the first half of this year. McDonald, four quick points for him off the bench. But also offensively, it seems like it has a little pop to the ball, a little quickness in their steps. So that's a good sign for the Buckeyes coming yeah. off the tough loss against North Carolina. Russell, his third three-pointer of the game, all from essentially the exact same spot. Well, at this level, you learn. I think he's learned a lot from those two experiences. And there are just going to be days, too, where the shot doesn't go. As ball's knocked away and Moore comes up with it and lays it in. Well, that's the beauty of the rebound comes to Sullivan. Oh, oh, boy! Inside, McKnight hits and draws the foul. Well, that time, long shot, long rebound. The defense. Six points for him. I mean, it's pretty clear. You know, Fab Mata said the bigs, as the Buckeyes turn it over, goes right through the hands of Thompson. The bigs are the missing link. When they get up big, a little bit of lack of attention to detail, allowing teams to kind of get back in. Now McKnight has it knocked away. Russell in the open court, and he is fouled in the college basketball world. Well, Ron Harper took care of me. Showed me the ways of the NBA when I was young. We had the same agent. Nice hustle by Russell to snare it away, and then Shannon's got to run. You know, the key is going to be not to play small. Williams gets the jam inside. And the lead back out to 21. There's Russell trying another three. This one doesn't go. Williams with the rebound inside. So led it by as many as 27. The lead is 20 now. Inside, Williams goes up strong and gets it to go. Carolina got him foul trouble, but still was able to garner his career high. He should be this Ohio State's second leading score. I mean, consistent. Doesn't go from Russell. Long rebound, tip back out. Loving another three. And just a little something. Amir Williams was a rebound. Another three pointer. And it's Russell again. 15 points for him. Timeout for the Red Hawks. D'Angelo Russell, of course, is a fat amount of three years at Xavier, one year at Butler. For his time here at Ohio State, it's Tate hits inside. Things that model wanted to do with his, with his basketball team, in particular up front in the zone, was close those gaps down, getting closer to transfer as well. So John Cooper said, "Look, this is obviously a better team than we're going to see in our league, and we'll learn a lot about our say. Okay, they're Ohio State; they're supposed to win. Are we, are we going to give what we can, our effort?" Russell through the lane, and he is fouled. It's funny, I was asking Coach Cooper. Ping pong, whatever it is, we are the best athletes. Track and field, you know? Everybody just can't do that, though, you know? <laughs> now, Williams ahead of the pace. Athletic, look at that. I like how you turn it towards you. What? Well, I didn't say that well, I was I mean, an you, outstanding athlete that you, could do group, everything. Your group of athletes. Well, you know, that I can do everything when I play. <laughs> Not going out on too much of a limb. <laughs> So now he needs 13 wins to pass Fred Taylor as the winningest coach in Ohio State history. Already has the best winning percentage. And I think it was the attitude of, okay, we lost to North Carolina, but we have to take care of our business, you know, in this game against Miami. 